Imagine with me for a second. You're tired and weary from your travels. You and your party completed your quest after months of hardships and struggles, more grave than you could have expected. But you're done. You've won. It's time to celebrate. Walking through the nearby town, you hear live music and hearty voices coming from the town's tavern. With a wink and a nod to your fellow adventurers, you head inside. Tonight, you're feeling generous because you survived the journey, and today, you've got a bit more coin in your pocket than you did yesterday. Bartender. Another beer for me and my friends. Keep them flowing. I'm going to show you how to make this drawstring bag. Let's get to it. This drawstring bag is super simple. It took me less than half an hour. All you're gonna need is your leather and something to cut it with. You won't need all the tools I'm gonna be using here. For the bag pattern, I'm using a dinner plate since it's the best circular thing I have on hand. The leather I'm using is a Kodiak oil tanned black leather, four to five ounces thick from Tandy Leather. I just cut out my rough shape before heading to the cutting mat. The black leather doesn't show pen or chalk marks really well, so I just cut directly around the dinner plate. Then I marked a half inch from the top edge and indented two spots a half inch apart where I want to either cut or punch holes for the lacing to go through. Now we're going to think of this like a clock. I'm starting at the 12 o'clock position and then doing the same mark at the six o'clock position and punching out the holes. Repeat the process for the three o'clock and the nine o'clock positions. This makes it easier to divide up and then mark the remaining hour positions. Once you've made your way around the perimeter, fold it up to see how it's going to look. Now I didn't have any lace for this bag's drawstring, and I also wanted something that would match. So I'm cutting out a long section out of the leather that I can cut a drawstring from. I cut the leather along a straight edge first, and then I measured the quarter inch wide strip I was going to cut to fit through the bag's holes. Then it's a matter of feeding the strip through the holes with the majority of the strip on the outside of the bag, if that makes sense. I then evened out the lace throughout the bag. It should look something like this. Kind of like someone's hat in a Renaissance painting. Then you could add some beads to the end of the lace before knotting it. I didn't have any on hand so I'm just going to knot it for now. If I find some beads I like or maybe a toggle that fits the aesthetic of the bag, I can easily untie the knots and add that later. The 
Then, just pull the lace to bring the bag together. Fill it with coins, or jewels, or dice. Yeah, that's it.